Welcome to the virtual presentation of our project titled Curing Ocean Plastic Microbes, Positive Experience of Engaging Non-Traditional Undergraduate Students in a Hispanic Serving Institution. The title is itself a play with words. Cures are course based on the graduate research experiences. But as this picture illustrates, pollution of the oceans by plastic is a damaging and painful reality. We hope that our project, an educational collaboration between National University and the Scripps Institution of Oceanography in San Diego, will contribute to the cure or mitigation of this environmental catastrophe. My university, National University, is a very non-traditional private nonprofit institution. It is non-traditional because of its student population. As you can see, our students tend to be older with high proportion of minorities, veterans, and working students in general. Our schedule is also non-traditional. Courses are very short and intense, one month long, with students taking one course at a time. Our project was focused on students enrolling in biology programs, both at the associate and bachelor's level, as well as the non-majors who take biology as a general education requirement. It is well documented that minority students have a lower level of participation in the STEM workforce in spite of the need. And we see that for most of our students, even those in biology programs, the end goal is usually in allied health careers. It is a known fact that involving students in authentic research increases their engagement in STEM. We chose an ongoing project studying the microbial populations attaching to plastic as the basis for a cure. This project started with a collaboration with Dr. Emilio de Force, who participated in a plastics at sea expedition and brought her interest to explore microbial populations attacking to floating plastic in coastal waters. The project gained support through a collaboration with Dr. Jeb Bowman at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, SIO. The two institutions are very different, as you can see. The overall idea was to establish a cure to be implemented in general biology lab courses, both majors and non-majors, as well as upper division majors courses. A central part of the cure is a field trip to SIO, where students participate in the deployment, collection, and processing of samples, as well as interact with NU and SIO scientists, including graduate students and postdocs. The project received NSF education grant for Hispanic serving institutions in 2018. The cure was designed in a modular form, so it can be easily adapted to a variety of courses. What students do will depend on the course, from very simple culturing of microbes to bioinformatics analysis. Assessment is based on a retrospective survey, as well as interviews and or focus groups to gather qualitative data. Over the years, we plan to monitor student retention and graduation, as well as interest in STEM disciplines. So here is a list of the survey questions. They can be grouped in four major themes related to SIO and NU research, scientific skills based on course learning objectives, as well as interest in science. This slide shows the results of survey responses collected between December 2018 and February 2020. Before is in black and after is in red, and it's clear that the after response scores are higher than the before scores. Based on open-ended responses, students overwhelmingly appreciated the experience, and I have included a few of their verbatim comments. Looking more in detail at the questions and the differences between majors and non-majors, we can see that the difference between before and after was significantly higher for all the questions in the case of the non-majors, but only for certain questions in the case of the majors, mainly pertaining specific research knowledge of National University and SIO. We can hypothesize that non-majors caught up to the major's level after the cure experience. And I do want to highlight the striking increase of appreciation of scientific research, which is the last question. Continuous collection of samples have provided interesting scientific material also. A metagenomic analysis of the populations collected for different time points is underway. Student researchers have their own projects characterizing microbes using culture-dependent methods, as well as looking at chemical degradation of plastic using methods such as 
Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy. Richness of the biofilm has been documented using scanning electron microscopy. We intend to expand the project to other courses as well as partner institutions. If interested to see how this works, please watch this video by Caitlin Webster as a script scientist and videographer where you can watch a field trip in action. It takes a village, and in this case two institutions and a lot of people, to make a project like this happen. So I want to thank the amazing co-PIs Rachel Simmons and Jeff Bowman, Dr. Zimela de Force for bringing a research idea, and Wendy Ochoa for supporting the first heroic years. Also, especially the field trip team of Jeff's grad students and postdoc, as well as many volunteer divers as SIO. We are extremely lucky for an amazing assessment team. Marie Bowman Davis from National and Kurt Stuck, our external evaluator. We had and have a number of amazing student researchers, including Ben Stenson, Megan Roth, Jose Alvarez, and Allison Lees, who is also presenting a poster at this year's virtual meeting. Last but not least, we thank NSF for their support. Thank you. Mm -hmm.